How's it going guys, Bear here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the brand new CSGO case. Yes, there is a new CSGO case and it has some great looking skins in it, but some of them don't look that great. And it even has a new knife which is really awesome. If you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button. I appreciate your support a lot and let's get right into this video. So the new case is called the Shadow Case. I like some of the skins, it has a lot. The first skin in the case is the Jewel Beretta's Jeweling Dragons. I'm not a big fan of this skin, but I think that it looks pretty decent for a blue. The next skin is the Farmer Survivor Z. I don't like this skin very much. Even in Factory New, it has lots of scratches and marks. Another blue skin in this case is the Glock 18 Wraiths. Again, I'm not a fan of it, and it looks quite plain. It's all black and doesn't stand out. Another skin is the MAC-10 Rain Jean. Again, I just don't like this skin. The design just doesn't look very appealing, and it has a creepy eye on it. One of the two shotgun skins in this case is the MAG-7 Cobalt Core. This is my favorite blue skin in this case, and it is probably the only blue that doesn't look that bad. I like the colors used on it. The second last blue skin in this case is the Scar 20 Green Marine. This looks like your average army pattern skin. I think that it doesn't look horrible, but it doesn't look good either. The last blue skin and shotgun skin in this case is the XM1014 Scumbria. I don't like this skin at all. It's just some blue with a few squiggly lines going down it from the top. The first purple in this case is the Galil R Stone Cold. I actually do like this skin. This would probably have to be my favorite Galil skin. I like the blue on it and it looks well designed. One of the more interesting skins in this case is the M249 Nebula Crusader. This is space themed and it has a lot of weird stuff on it. I don't like this one too much and it kind of looks like a toy. Another skin is the MP7 Special Delivery. I don't like this one and it looks quite plain. It has some washed out greys, blacks and whites with nothing really else on it. This is the P250 wing shot. I like this skin and, and it looks great for a purple. I might start using this as my P250 skin and I really like the swirling pattern on it. The first pink skin in this case and potentially my favorite skin in the case is the AK-47 Frontside Misty. I think this looks amazing for a pink and it could definitely be a red. I'm probably going to buy, buy one of these to use as my AK-47 skin. It's bright and colorful and I love the design. Another skin is the G3SG1 Flux. A pink G3SG1 skin is a bit of a surprise as not many people use this gun. Maybe it will get more people to start using it. I like the design it has and the shade of purple. This would have to be my favorite G3SG1 skin. And there is the SSG 08 Big Iron. I'm not a big fan of this scout skin. It looks decent, but I would make it purple if I could choose, and not a pink. The first red skin of the case is the M4A1S Golden Coil. What surprised me is that they added a new M4A1S skin straight after the M4A1S nerf. A lot more people would be buying it if the M4A1S wasn't nerfed, because a lot of people start stopped using the gun after the nerf. I very much like the skin though and I love the gold on it. The last red skin of the video is the USPS Kill Confirmed. I love this skin. I would say that it is the best USPS skin in the game. It looks fantastic and the colors are great. But finally we have the new knife. These are the Shadow Daggers. These are definitely not the most amazing knives in the game but I think they look pretty neat. They are very expensive at the moment, but they will most likely drop in price in the near future. What I really like about these is that you can, you get one in each hand. This is definitely something we didn't expect Valve to add. Overall, I am a bit disappointed about this case. Sure, some of the skins were good, but most of them were pretty trash, and I think they could have done better. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button. I appreciate all of your support a lot and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.